just, I'd just like, okay, gone are the days when I would come home, I'd sit and, you know, something goofy like yes. read the paper read a magazine watch tv veg out in front of the television or right. something mm, those days are over because again you're mm -hmm. worrying about somebody's dinner a lot of times my son would get angry <clears throat> he would say i mean he would call me and say mother you're always over at mother's when are you going to take care of you when are you going to go do something mother i said well i have to do what i have to do mm -hmm. and so Here's my child worrying about his mother, mm -hmm. and I'm worried about my mother. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know, it's, there are a whole lot of emotions with this insidious disease mm -hmm. that have to be juggled and balanced. I just needed people to support me, you know, you know, understand if I can't call you, I'm not gonna be a best friend anymore because my time is now between my household and my mother. And my husband, thank God, he's so supportive, but we gotta, you know, you have to really communicate with your, your spouse and anyone else in your family, your kids, because it's a whole big responsibility when you take it on, especially if you bring it in your house. I immediately told my family and our dear friends, um, quite a few people still don't know. And, um, you know, it's not really something that, we're not hiding it at all, but you, you certainly don't wanna tell some of these people that our dear friends around the country over the phone, so we'd rather have it be face to face.